Please like and subscribe for future content. I still have chills. My encountered OST match 100% to others I've heard, but I am positive it has something to do with these black eyed kids. So this is about April 2019. I live in a decent sized city in the western US. My job at the time was in a restaurant where I worked late nights, sometimes until 1 am. The job wasn't too far from my apartment, so I would walk back every night. My place was in kind of a rundown part of town. Imagine a lot of abandoned lots. Basically at that time of night there would be no one around except people like me making their way home. So I am walking down the road leading up to my place one night. I am looking down at my phone, and when I lift my head up, I see these two kids probably like 40-50 feet away holding hands and walking in my direction. This was odd because the road is a pretty straight shot, there wouldn't have been many alleys or side streets for them to come out of, unless they were just hanging out in one of the empty lots. They were too far away to make out details, but I was sure they had to be young kids. This on its own was unsettling. But the way they started behaving after this was what sent me into fuck this shit mode. These two stepped off the curb, looked both ways and crossed the street. There was no need to do it on a completed deserted road, but I thought whatever kids are taught to look both ways before crossing. That would have been fine, except then, after walking maybe 10 more feet, they stepped off again, looked both ways, and crossed back over the side they were just on. They did this four or five times until they were right in front of me. I could tell at this point it was a boy about 13 and a girl about 9. Their clothing wasn't exactly like other Beck accounts I've heard, where they re-wearing old-timey rags. Instead they had just these grey pajama looking things, and white shoes with no logo or brandy. Now, I am a big dude. I am about 6'1", 240 pounds. I've been stopped and fucked with by all kinds of junkies and weirdos and always thought I could handle myself. Despite that, I felt terrified of these two little kids. They came up to me, and even though their eyes were a T-solid black, their pupils seemed to be very dark and almost have a glow to them. They stopped dead in front of me, and the boy said we re lost, our parents must be worried, in a straight monotone voice. You do think that two lost children in the ghetto at 1 a.m. would be frantic and crying. The girl then chimes in we need to use the phone at your house our parents must be worried in the same matter of fact way. I told them they could use my cell phone or I could call the police. They didn't he say anything and the boy just said again our parents are worried. In no other situation would I leave two kids there defenseless, but something in my gut told me to get the fuck out of there. So I just walked past them. After about a block I looked back, and saw them continuing in the other direction, repeatedly crossing the Hay Street again. It was one of the most unsettling things I've ever experienced. 